What is up YouTube? How's it going everybody? We're coming at you today with another build video. Today is going to be Dragon Knight again, but this time we're going to do the Battlegrounds version of my build. What do I change and how do I sustain and no CP for Battlegrounds? So, let's speed this up and get right into it. We are going to be running Master's Dual Wheel, Front Bar, Tried and True, can't go wrong with it. Charged and Nern Honed. You run Charged on this because you're a Dragonite, status effects, blah blah blah. Increase the chance of applying, very good. You're also using Blood Craze on like every target that you see. Increases the chance of hemorrhaging, so very important to have Charged. Back Bar, Weird Tree. So this is where things change. Vatishran is strong, don't get me wrong. Vatishran's strafe is good, yada yada blah blah blah. It's not that good, okay? It's kiteable, it's avoidable, it's easy to get it off of you, it's cleansable. Vatishran isn't that good. It's not that all cracked up to be. People just use it because there's nothing better to run on the back bar for most builds. And that's why it's meta, because it's the best option. But it's not that good. So we're doing weird tree instead. Back bar. Cleanse every 15 seconds. No CP. No cleansing and no CP unless you have a set or a, a, a heal class like Warden and Templar. So this is super, super valuable in Battlegrounds. Get all that bullshit off of you. Especially if you're going up against a group of people that are running Jarl Mountain. This... this this kills Gerald Mountain. It does nothing to you. So, weird tree, jewelry, all infused on jewelry. I have one stamina recovery on my death dealer's feet. I uh, play super aggressive. I have no chill. If I did more heavy attacks, I would just use weapon damage here instead. But I don't do a whole lot of heavy attacks. Uh, I play like an autist, basically. So... I have to increase my stamina recovery a little bit. Um, you're doing five heavy, uh, one medium, one light, like usual. Basic Dragonite build, you should pretty much always run five heavy on Dragonite if you can. It is the most balanced way to play the class. And to go with Weird Tree, we're doing Daedric Trickery. Now, Daedric Trickery is one of the best sets on Dragonite overall for Cyrodiil and Battlegrounds. The main reason we're only using this is for the Major Heroism, uh, the chance of getting Major Heroism. When we get Expedition, you know, it's unfortunate, but it is what it is. You get some movement speed, we get Protection or Mending or Vitality. Yeah, it, it is what it is. They're all good. 16% healing increase. Expedition or Major Heroism, can't go wrong, Major Protection is what 10% reduced damage. Um, like I said, they're all very good, but we're really trying to get Major Heroism. So, in the future for Dragonite, I'm still going to run Weird Tree on the back bar, Death Dealer's Feet, Master's Dual Wheel, none of that's changing. One Piece Magma Incarnate for my shoulder. I'm going to do all this the same, but I will trade Daedric Trickery for the new Earth and Hard Dragonite set that will guarantee me Major Heroism, and this build will be that much better. Um, again, it's 6 reinforced, or uh, excuse me, 6 impenetrable, 1 reinforced. And this is, to, this is a solo, self-sustained battleground build you're not relying on anybody else helping you playing by yourself most of the time okay uh we'll take a look at the character sheet real quick i am a dragon knight uh, uh breton i mean if you guys have not watched previous build videos i am breton um i think breton is the best for magic dragon knight but uh dark elf is also good vampire stage three smoke bear hunch uh here's the front bar stats completely unbuffed and back bar stats completely unbuffed that weird tree magic recovery really comes in on the back bar tons of magic recovery 
good for uh, good for BGs because you struggle with sustain. CP doesn't matter in BGs, so don't need to go over it. Um, skills are all the same as what I usually run: shattered rocks, blood craze, engulfing flames, molten whip, flames of oblivion, and ferocious sleep. I'll explain that you can swap this. Elemental susceptibility, hardened armor. It's much better than volatile armor. If you're running volatile armor, you're not playing Dragonite the right way. I promise you. This shield does more damage than volatile armor, and it has a shield. I mean, like. You can't go wrong with it. It does fire damage. It attacks all targets around you. It accumulates more damage than volatile. And it shields you at the same time. It's better. Vigor. Race against time. Very important. You really need race against time. It's a lot better than the vampire ability. Coagulate and temporal guard. Now, you can run Thriving Chaos on the front bar. <clears throat> So you, you can run Thrive, and the more targets you hit with it, the more damage you're doing. It's, it's really strong. I would suggest running Marsalok instead and taking Death Dealer off if you run Thrive and Chaos. So you just want to take the head and shoulders off and put a Daedric Trickery. Um, one more here. Or a Weird Tree. Either one. You know, just change it. And then run Marsalok instead, so you'll be losing a, a, a bunch of sustain from Trickery, or uh, from Death Dealer and the Magma Incarnate. But you'll gain a bunch of damage with Marsalok. Um, but Thriving Chaos, I, I will probably use it more next update when I get Major Heroism from the new Dragonite set more consistently. This way, Thriving Chaos. It, like I get the ultimate much quicker and uh, I'm able to use it a lot more often but uh, keep in mind the damage shield from ferocious leap is massive in battlegrounds it's so it's so good um, so if you're gonna run thriving chaos you just you gotta feel out your sustain and make sure that you can survive but it's tough. Again, this is like a solo battleground build. When you're playing by yourself, you're not relying on anybody. So that was would be what I would change for next patch. Um, and always run swords if you're running a dot DK build. You you don't need anything other than swords for dot DK. It's by far the best. Other than that, I think you guys. Uh, Pretty pretty used to how I've been playing DK lately, if you guys keep up with the channel. Um, yeah, Weird Tree, back bar, super good in Battlegrounds. I would re recommend that all Dragonites, you try out Weird Tree on the back bar. It's uh, a counter to so much pressure that people apply to you. Alright, let's get into the build video and we'll discuss some of it while we're going. Alright, excuse me, let's get into some gameplay of Battlegrounds. Alright, so we're just doing uh we're just doing a solo battleground, solo queue. And we are going against uh a couple at least two or three people that I recognize all the time in Battlegrounds. Um that are good players. One of them being Drago, which is, in my opinion, uh, the best Sork in the game right now. Okay. 
Well, I got all my stacks of death dealers feet. So I got a nice juicy resource pool. Nice amount of health too. Now if you if you're dying more often in battlegrounds and you're struggling a little bit and you're having a hard time keeping your stacks of death dealer feet up, uh, you can just run the mark and ring instead. It gives you armor and it gives you damage which also increases your healing, so the marking ring is really good also. Hello, Mr. Drogo. I'll leave Drogo alone. Let him do his thing. You guys running Red Mountain and Celine. Oh, bitch. <laughs> Same guy. Now chat, I do run stamina weapon damage potions. Just the basic ones that you can buy from it, the Battleground Merchant or in Cyrodiil. It's just crit, stamina, and weapon damage. You can craft speed into it instead of crit chance. Obviously, I don't need crit chance on the front bar. I've got Flames of Oblivion. However, the 10% crit chance does apply to your back bar for crit healing also. And I'm running race against time anyways. So I prefer to just have that 10% crit chance. But you could put immovability or speed or something else if you really wanted to. Uh, just make sure that you have stamina and weapon damage if you guys are... Uh, are going to copy the build or try it out for yourself. What's up? Did I get desynced or something? My health was like fully juiced and then all of a sudden I just died. Maybe I just wasn't paying attention, I guess. I don't know. You see, I lost all my stacks of death dealer feet now. So now I gotta build them up again. Drogo. So now I gotta kill Drogo. Takes a takes about a minute to build up all your stacks of uh, escalating feet, but you can uh, you can definitely notice a difference when you lose your stacks. So if you're if you're dying over and over and whatnot, or you're, you're struggling to live for a minute at a time, I would suggest just running the mark and ring instead.
Man, every every time I go to my back bar, like every 15 seconds, you can see that weird tree proc and cleanse everything off of me. It's such a like, it's such a relief for your healing. Every time you cleanse all that bullshit off of you, it's really good for your sustain. It says it's less time spent that you have to play defense. Now, like I said, we'll be playing with the new Dragonite set at the end of the month, uh, you know, the beginning of November, once PTS, com PTS comes to the live servers, but uh, I'm going to try Thrive in Chaos for a little bit and see how it feels, but dra like Dragon Leap is just so good for solo play and playing by yourself. It's literally like offense and defense at the same time, just like corrosive is, but is pretty cheap. And it's a it's a really good CC, causes your opponent to get bugged out a lot of the time where they're like floating in the air, they can't break free right away. It's a very good ability, and the new Dragonite set giving major heroes them all the time. Um, basically, uh, the way that they, I don't know if you guys read the uh, PTS, if you played it at all, but they changed the set, it no longer gives minor heroism, it also no longer has a 20 second cooldown. You just get major heroism, uh, for 10 seconds, with no cooldown, though, so, you, you're just always gonna have it. So that means you're going to get Dragon Leaps probably like, I don't know, like 30% faster. Maybe more. Okay, chat. Not bad, not bad. So yeah, there you have it. Again, um, Weird Tree back bar. It's really, really good in solo play. Um, trickery on body. I think th this is the best build that I've overall run for Battlegrounds. I've tried many things. Trickery, Weird Tree, Serpent Disdain, Weird Tree, Snake and Stars. Did not like this at all. Plague Break, Dave to Trickery. Really good. This is a really good... Uh, this is the second best way I've played Dragonite in Battlegrounds. A uh, little bit better for like group play, though. And I even tried uh, some other stuff too. Serpent Disdain, Trickery, Marcelot combos. These are good for uh, group play. But Yep, there you guys have it. Um, I'm going to do the Cyrodiil build next. Uh, Cyrodiil build is totally different uh, for group play and all that stuff. But for solo play, playing by yourself in Cyrodiil, it is this exact same build. Nothing changed. This exact same setup for playing by yourself in Zerdo on a dot DK. Alright guys, thanks for hanging out. Um, we'll see you for the next build video. We're gonna do one more for Dragonite for Cyrodiil in group play style. And then uh, we might do one or two more videos until the patch comes in November. But everything's gonna change in November 1st for meta. For most classes, at least. Well, some classes. So we're going to do a bunch of new build videos in November. But um, we might do like one or two more until then. Alright. Thanks for watching, everybody. Make sure you get that uh, subscribe button. 
Check out the new videos whenever I post them. Uh, check me out on Twitch. It's the same name. And I'll catch you guys next time.